Hello students, in the previous lecture, we discussed the three types of uh, laser uh, energy level setup, two level, three level, four level, where we studied that two level laser setup cannot give us output of laser beam, three level gives a pulsed output, four level gives a continuous wave output and four level energy setup is better than the three level. Let us continue. Gain in lasers. What do you mean by the word gain? Common English term, it means that output is greater than the input. That means laser gain medium is a medium which can amplify the power of light typically in the form of light beam. Such a gain medium is required in the laser to compensate for the losses that have taken place in the resonator through which the light has passed. So it can be used for the application of an optical amplifier. So it is basically referring to the amount of amplification that is happening. So that means you are amplifying the output of the light that has entered. There are many types of laser gain mediums like certain band gap semiconductors such as galenium arsenide etc are typically pumped with electrical currents. Certain laser crystalline glasses such as neodymium, doped, yttrium, aluminium, garnet etc are based on doped insulator levels. Ceramic laser gains are doped with rare earth ions. Laser dyes are used in dye lasers. Gas lasers are based on gaseous like carbon dioxide, etc. So the question that is asked is, define the gain of a laser. Mention the different factors that are responsible for the decrease of the gain. Or what is gain in laser? Obtain the condition for threshold gain. Let us begin. Now, two marks will be given for the word define gain of a laser. That means the effective gain of an amplifying medium is defined as the ratio between the power of outgoing beam divided by the power of the incoming beam. This is gain of amplifying medium. You will come across numericals also on this formula. That means what you have gotten output divided by what you are getting in the input and two powers can be expressed here in watt or photon per second. Amplifying medium of a laser, you can have a look at this diagram. See, this is the input here. It gets amplified and we get the output. We are having two mirror setup. One is totally reflecting and the other is partially reflecting mirror. And this is our laser cavity. So this is the amplifying medium of a laser. It has been asked many times in section A, this diagram also. So gain, what all factors is gain depending on? Now, if you look at this diagram only, it will be clear. It will be depending upon the wavelength of incoming light light, intensity of incoming light, length of amplifying me medium and the extent to which the amplifying medium has been energized. What are the basic losses in this? Reflection of mirrors, radiation losses, absorption, scattering and diffraction losses or any other optical phenomena losses. Next question, what do you mean by loop gain of the laser and derive an expression for loop gain? Loop, that means one full circle. Have a look at this diagram. This is loop. See, loop gain of a laser beam is defined as the net gain that the radiation sees in a round trip transmission through the laser. Look at this diagram. See, amplifying medium of laser is is placed between the two reflecting plane mirrors. First mirror will be having 100% reflectivity and the output will be having slightly less reflectivity. Always remember both the mirrors will not have 100% reflectivity. Otherwise, it will not give an output of laser light. Now this trip starts from 
point one, then it follows the point two and it is reflected from mirror M1. Point three to four is traversed inside the medium and then again it is reflected from M2 and from point five. So point five is same as point one. And from here we had begun our journey and here we have ended. That completes one loop. And loop gain, again, gain means output upon input. So what had we done in input? One, what have we gotten output? Five, their ratio is giving us gain. That means E5 upon E1. That means intensity of radiation at the beginning, intensity at the output. This will be E5. E5. Calculation of loop gain without losses. This is a derivation. It has been asked and a numerical has also been asked on this derivation. Let GA be the active medium gain, which is passing through length L of active medium. Then energy is GA into G1. Here it has been assumed that length of active medium is same as that of cavity. And then very simple steps. We put the values here, we get the ratio R1, R2, GA square. This gives us the loop gain. Loop gain with losses, for that you just add a factor that is a constant. Let M be the loss factor. This describes the part of radiation that remains in the cavity after the losses in a round trip inside the cavity. So value of M is given by M is equal to e to the power of minus 2 alpha L, where Alpha is absorption coefficient, L is length of laser cavity. Put these two values here and you get the answer as or the expression for loop gain as GL is equal to R1, R2 exponential to the power of 2 into beta minus alpha L. Gain at threshold. The laser threshold is the lowest excitation level at which a laser output is dominantly stimulated emission rather than spontaneous emission. For this condition of minimum population inversion must be maintained. So the threshold condition power grows gradually with increasing excitation or population inversion. The medium will behave as an amplifier. Now, in order to derive the minimum population inversion called the threshold population inversion density is required to overcome these losses. In order to derive an expression again, draw this diagram, make the two reflecting mirrors R1, R2, put the active medium in between with a distance D, radiations bouncing back and forth between the mirror is amplified by the amplifying medium. Medium. This radiation will suffer losses due to reflectivity of the mirrors and for the oscillations to sustain the cavity, the losses should be minimum. So we have derived a very simple expression for losses here. And we have come across the expression for what the laser losses and this passive time cavity lifetime. So we conclude that low threshold value of population inversion, the following conditions should be satisfied. That the threshold value population inversion is coming out proportional is the uh, laser is the state where the small signal gain just equals the resonator losses so that laser emission can just begin.